areola connective tissues. Objectives A detailed study of the cells that comprise the areola tissue. The human body is covered by the skin, which is the sensory organ of the body. On taking out a section of the skin and looking at its internal composition, we see several strand-like structures. The areolar tissues present below the epithelium contain transparent, semi-fluid and gelatinous matrix and a loose anastomosing network of yellow translucent elastic fibers. The matrix shows the presence of many bundles of white collagen fibers. It also contains flat, irregularly shaped fibroblast cells, which have long protoplasmic processes and an oval nucleus. During the tissue repair and wound healing process, the fibroblast secretes fibers at the site of the injury to effectively seal off the injured area. Large macrophage cells are another component of this tissue. They destroy microbes, foreign particles and the cells of the damaged tissues by phagocytosis. Near the blood vessels, some small oval-shaped mast cells can also be found in abundance. These cells contain granules in their cytoplasm. Moreover, these granules contain an inflammation-producing substance called histamine. Nevertheless, mast cells also secrete the antioxidant called heparin. The plasma cell present in this tissue produces antibodies. which are an important component of the body's immune system and destroy the invading microbes. This tissue also shows the presence of melanin granules packed in chromatophore cells. Large lipid-containing fat cells and mesenchyme cells. The mesenchyme cells can be differentiated into the various cell types of the areolar tissues according to the need. A recapitulation will help us remember that the areolar tissues are made up of elastic fibers, collagen fibers, fibroblast cells, large macrophage cells, mast cells, granules, plasma cells, chromatophore cells, fat cells, and mesenchyme cells.